Are you a smoker? Why? Hi, Deborah here, also known as Doobage42. Welcome back to my channel. Click that like button and let's jump into my take. Now I have to tell you, I grew up in a house full of smokers. I remember being very young and trying to get my mom to not smoke because I thought it was disgusting. Yes, that was a word that I used as a five-year-old. I had a large vocabulary. I still don't like it. It still stinks. I still say that people who smoke always smell like an ashtray. In general, for the most part, smokers are inconsiderate. Now, before you go clicking off or, you know, getting all hateful in the comments, let me tell you why. In general, now, you might be the most polite smoker on the planet and nobody would even know you smoked. But for everybody else out there, the people that ash out their car window, Yes, sending hot ash to hit everybody else's car on the way down. Maybe even fly into somebody else's open window. Oh, that's a classy freaking move, y'all. Or what about the ones who smoke and then spit that butt out the uh, window and maybe even start a fire? Well, it rained three days ago. It should be fine. You're an idiot. Do not send fire outside of your car. You know, another thing I was thinking about... It's illegal to text while you're driving. And there's a lot of states you can't even use your handset phone. But you're allowed to have open fire going while you're driving. Why is that? I know that my decision to go to a place, uh, a restaurant, a store, or whatever, highly depends on whether or not they allow smoking. I don't mean smoking sections. Because let's face it here. A non-smoking section in a restaurant is like having a non-pissing section in a pool. It's all there together. You cannot escape the stench. But if it's a no-smoking place, I'm there. Now, when I have the waitress or waiter come up to my table and they smell like a freaking ashtray because they've just been outside, you know, power smoking two packs of cigarettes, that's disgusting. A lot of places are net now are making it to where their employees aren't allowed to even smoke on their property. They have to go across the street to somebody else's property before they can smoke. Yep, I'm back there. I'm a regular patron there, mainly because of that. Luckily, things have changed even here in the South in the U.S. In Georgia, there is no smoking inside any restaurant in the state. Now, unless they change it to where it's like a bar and only over 21 are allowed, there are a couple of places that do that. More power to you. I'm not going to be partaking of your services because I like to breathe. Now, I've had to pause this several times in between uh, while recording this little video because I'm coughing my full head off. I've got bronchitis again. I get the slightest cold instantly goes to bronchitis. I have to go to the doctor. I have to get antibiotics, some special cough medicine, and an inhaler. That's right. Thanks, people who raised me. Y'all did me such a service. Anyway, if you're smoking, quit. I can quit anytime I want to. Then do it. Don't just lie to yourself. Don't be mean to your kids, teaching them that it's okay to suck fire through a tube it isn't. It's stupid. It's dirty. It stinks. It's expensive. And it's bad for you. Proven bad for you. And don't give me that anecdote of, well, my great grandpa, Jim Bob, lived to be 103 years old and he smoked every day. Wow. Did he smell good? Probably not. I mean, even when he was younger, 103 years old, eh, old people smell. Yeah, we're all headed there. But why do you do it? Do you go to places, especially if you're a non-smoker, would you rather go to a place that is completely no smoking? It's one thing I like about downtown Greenville, South Carolina. When they do festivals downtown, the whole festival is no smoking, even the outdoor places. That makes me feel welcome. That makes me feel like I can breathe. To each his own, I guess. But you can't smoke in my house. You cannot smoke on my porch. You can't smoke in my car. And I'd rather you didn't smoke on my property.
Yes, that even went for my entire family. Ask me about it sometime. I'll tell you stories. That's my take and my little rant day. Whoa, where'd that come from? Mm. See you next time.